everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So I've got a few things to show you. So I have got some bits from Craft Stash. I've been looking at this one all the time. It's been in my basket and then it kind of goes out of the basket because they do take stuff out. I think after like maybe a day or something, your kind of basket gets emptied. Then I put it back in there again and I thought, oh, I've just got to get it. And it's just, it's one, it's an old style of Daisy May stamps and I just adore it. I absolutely love the Dash Hound Dog and I just think it's super cute and it's got a pair of pants in its mouth and it's got the laundry basket. It's just very, very sweet and you know I'm a big fan of Daisy May stamps so I just needed it in my collection. So I picked up that one. Then I got some more of the Dot and Dab. These are the 20 mil hook and loop. I use these a lot on my bigger gift bags. I really like these ones and they're super sticky. So they, you know, you've got no worries of these coming off of your project. So I always like to kind of keep stock of those. Then I also picked up some of the Daisy May papers because I have never brought the Daisy May papers and I was looking at them and I thought they're really nice and they're perfect background papers. So this is the six by six and this one, Sunshine Flowers and they're really nice bright colours which works really well because I love to colour you know in all the brights, uh, bright pen colours that I have so and the alcohol markers and stuff so you can just see I love that one there really really nice and that's gorgeous so I thought I've got all these stamps absolutely love the collection I should have the papers and you get there three of each three of each eight designs 180 gsm so perfect for your mats and layers and then also they had this one which is the eight by eight and this is four of each and there are six designs and that's 180 gsm so that's the same as well and this one's got a bit more of a it's almost like it's it's not but it, it's got the effect that it's been printed onto craft card so it's got a very slight distress look to it so i don't know how well it's picking up on camera but can you see just like that distressed effect and it's on everything even on these stripes you can see there's kind of like patches there and it's just again just really nice I really liked it love that one there the polka dots but again it does have like a grainy look to it that's really pretty so I just thought these are going to work you know I when you enjoy a collection obviously the designer you know they do their samples and they use a lot of their papers so I thought well that's what inspires me and that's what I like to look at so I yeah I should get the papers as well so really like those two and then I got this here which is the stamp cleaner so it's very similar to the Stampin' Up one which my mum has um, so basically what you do is you will there's these two mats so I'll just pull that one out just so you can see it a bit better it's almost like carpet but it's not this is microfiber and um, this is lint free so you can just see it's just a thick foam and then these bristles and it's like that on both sides and the idea is is that you will spritz it with your water or your stamp cleaners and then your dirty stamp you will rub onto here and then you can have this wet as well and then you just kind of rub it again here and it will just make sure it's completely clean so this takes off like the initial dirt and this one will stay a little bit lighter and not have as much but you can clean them you know you just take them off you can just put them in some warm soapy water and, and clean them up but it's just having that it's perfect for you know traveling and stuff my microfiber cloths like I say this is them here I keep them hung these are clean they're just heavily stained I use them all the time there is no problems with these and they're great for when I'm using my stamping platform but when I've just got my stamps on my stamping blocks so the acrylic blocks so things like this you imagine there's a stamp on there you just rub and then rub it or dry you know that you can keep this one dry as well if you want or drier and it will dry it off and then you just peel them off and put them straight back on there um in the packaging and put them away so you know each each to their own really like I say if you've got the stamping platform and then I would use this to then you know clean off the stamp and then put it away that way I did at the beginning I used to have one that was just going to be a bit like this one that would get very dirty and then one that would stay cleaner but over time you can see that they uh <laughs> they're both like I say they're just heavily stained there's nothing wrong with these and they are all lint free and I swear by these microfiber cloths so um yeah I just thought it'd be quite nice for when I'm you know traveling and um it just keeps everything compact so that's the idea for that anyway but yeah it's by crafts 2 five by seven stamp cleaning mat and you can see there where they've got that side where it's you know it's got all the ink and then this side she's kind of rubbing it off so they're, they're just really handy 
and it works on clear rubber cling and foam stamps so you can use everything washable and refillable inserts oh, i didn't realize that so that's always good to know as well so i got that one and then i'm i do use my white kind of I, well i call them highlighter pens because that's what i use them for and these this time i've gone for the secura the actual jelly roll brand and i'll show you because i always use my posca pen i've got a few different um you know uh sized tips for those but also i'm trying to find where it is i did have the i'm sure i still yeah here it is so these are the ranger ones and as much as I love them, and there is loads of pigment in them, it just doesn't always work. It clogs up all the time, and it's really infuriating because they are nice, but it's a, and it is very opaque. They're they're perfect for, you know, just adding that highlight. Maybe you've got a stamped image that you've coloured. Also for adding faux stitching on some coloured cardstock. You know, it's all that kind of thing. But these are obviously finer than the Posca, which is your paint pens. But I just really struggle and both of them do it all the time. I don't know whether it's to do with the temperature in my room, but just, yeah, I just end up getting really frustrated. So I was watching a few of my favourite art tutorial um, YouTubers who do, you know, like more, more illustrations and things like that. I find them very relaxing to watch and they all use the jelly rolls for when they're adding highlights. So this here is the, you get your... 0.3 mil, 0.4 mil, and 0.5, which is 5, 8, and 10 on the sides there. And you can see they're made in Japan. They're very, very good quality, really nice. And these I didn't think were too bad for the price. I'm I'm pretty sure I haven't got my where's my invoice? These are 4.99, and I thought that was really good because they are like like I said, they're recommended by a lot of people. So I thought I'd give them a go, but what I didn't realise is I still left this one in my basket because I this was on its own, and this is the Souffle. Again, the, I, I'm sure it is still, yeah, it is Sakura because it's the same lids and everything. But there is, no, it's about the same amount in there. But it doesn't have a number on this one, and I'm pretty sure it's probably the same. But yeah, so, you know, if that's the kind of thing you like and maybe you've got some other ones that you really enjoy as well or maybe you have the same problem as I have with these because it's a shame because these weren't cheap and, um, yeah, anyway, so I've got those. In fact, I'm just going to pop them all with that now as well. I'll do that in a moment. So that's what I picked up from Craft Stash. And then I scored again in the charity shop. So the same one that me and mum always go in. She's picked up some more like embellishment kind of things in packs and things like that. But I've grabbed these. So I've got two of these Crafters Companion and these are the foil. Love the colours, electric blue and royal blue. So yeah, two metre rolls. And I have some of these. I have some of the, um, what do they call them? The foil transfers. But you can also use them with your double-sided tape. You can use them with your tacky glues. You can get really nice effects. 50p each. I haven't looked online to see how much these are, but I know they will be a lot more than 50p. So that was a bargain. And then I've got all these bits. Now I use a lot of texture pastes and sprays and things like that when I do my scrapbook layouts. So you don't tend to really see me use these things in my normal tutorials apart from maybe on a Sunday now I'm back to sharing my scrapbook layouts again and that's when I use these kind of things however this one here I'm a bit interested with some of you might already have it but I've picked up this one here which is which was 75 piece by Imagination Crafts it's a great company and it is well it's wax so it's just a um it's like a gilding wax I've got some gilding waxes but mine are very small kind of little it's like long kind of like trays so this one is much, much bigger. I've got one like this in like a pinky colour, but when I saw that it was gold, I just thought that's going to be great. And it's perfect for distressing and adding just a little bit of shine to like the ed ends of like the petals on a flower or on the leaves and things like that, especially when you've embossed them. These are all brand new. Every single one of these has never been used. And if I just take that off there, it's just a really rich gold paste. And it is, it's perfect for just adding. If I just find a little die cut... Now I've got one of these poppies. I've got a box full of like bits that I have left over from projects, but this is a poppy that I had. And let me just take the lid off that and I'll use just a little bit there. This looks like it's going to be very, very strong. I'm going to do it on the back just because I don't know how well, you know, this spreads. But look, so you just, and it will show up all the grain. Look at that lovely detail that you get. 
they are, honestly gilding waxes are just so nice and I, I love using them. I, I edge like the edges, I edge the edges. I go around the edges of my scrapbook layouts with my gilding waxes. And some you just sometimes you just have to do just such a, you know, a small amount just to kind of just highlight like the edges. But if you've already distressed your cardstock and you've got all those kind of like creases in them, you see how it picks it all up. So just look how that's changed that cardstock, just such a small amount and they go a long way, which is why if you ever see little things like this, don't think, well, there's nothing in, you know, there's hardly anything in there for the price. They last you forever. Even the, t the very, very small, oh, well, let me grab it. These here, I've had these for ages and you can see the one that I go to a lot, but there's still loads in there because, a, you know, a small amount goes a long way. But these are what I've got. So it's nice to have, you know, and that's actually, you can see in terms of what I've already got, this is a real more yellowy gold. These are quite browner, more earthy gold. So yeah, that's gonna be a nice addition. So I'm just gonna pop that one back on there. I've got lovely gold fingertips there, but that will just wash off. So then I picked up this one here. So this was a pound. This is again by Imagination Crafts. And this is a, they call it a relief paste, but when I read what you do with it, it just to me just seems like another paste to use with your stencils and to create dimension. It says here it's a water-based matte acrylic paste ideal for creating dimensional effects on all hard surfaces. Can be used with a stencil or freehand and works best when applied with a spatula. Well I love doing my stenciling on my scrapbook layouts and this colour is actually really nice especially because I like to do my vintage kind of backgrounds. It's a really nice say oh yeah it says it's sage there on the side. Again never been used so I'm just going to take this off. And there's, there's absolutely tons in there that's going to last such a long time. But um, yeah, again, you will see these things pop up in my scrapbook um, layout videos. So yeah, really like that one. And then I got these. So these are by a company that is based in Poland. So it says made in Poland there and it's called 13 Arts. So this is chalk woodbine. This is pastel cobalt and this is pastel lime. Love that lime colour. I've given them a shake. They need to be, I think they've been probably sat down for a long, long time. Again, they don't really look like they've been used because they are full, but they're just your sprays. So again, I love using these on my scrapbooks. Creates really nice backgrounds. You get great effects. And also on like shadow boxes and things like that. But I love that lime colour. And you can also spray it on your flowers. So if you've die cut any of your 3D flowers and things like that, it will look really nice. So those three were a pound. And then I got these here. So this is something I've never seen before. It's by Pinflare. They were a pound each, so I thought I'd get both. They're both in black. Yeah, black stamping paste. And basically it's 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 ink in a paste form. And you use a, from what I was reading, these were both unopened, but I had a look at this earlier. It's a very thick paste, but it's it's heavily, you know, doused in ink. And basically it said that you use a sponge and you dab it onto the sponge, you, you load up the sponge so it's all evenly distributed onto the sponge and then you use the sponge and ink up your stamp and then you stamp with it and it will create dimension. It says it takes up to five minutes to dry but it will mean your sentiments and things like that will have dimension and I'm thinking for, I guess more when I go into like autumnal projects and Halloween and maybe some Christmas things as well. But when I tend to use more darker colours, I think this is going to look quite good. I don't know how well it works with heavily detailed stamps. So it was just something a bit different. And when it's that price, you don't mind getting it and trying it. And then if I don't like it, I'll pass it on to one of my crafty friends. And then there was this one here. I don't know whether it's really old or... Again, I'm not sure. Yeah, 2013. So it's not massively, you know, it's not too old. But I guess in crafting, stuff, you know, develops so quickly with, you know, it's probably maybe not that good anymore. I don't know. But it's by Colourbox Surface. Surface? Surface. Surface? Surface is... Oh, you meant to pronounce the Z on the end. Anyway, it's a multi-surface ink. So to me, this sounds like a stays on. And, you know, it's got that same kind of plastic on the top that stays on has. And it says here, it's in black. And on the top, it just says for multi-surface plastic, metal, glossy cardstock and more. Always test materials first. Fast drying, permanent ink. Well, that's exactly what stays on says. Let me just um, 
yeah, it doesn't smell like Stazon. Stazon's got that distinctive smell. But um, yeah, again, I use black inks all the time. And if this means it will stamp well onto my acetate window sheets and stuff like that, then it's always good to have another one. And again, for 50p, you don't mind. So I thought that was quite a good stash, you know, to find at the charity shop. And then lastly, I went on to Every Crafts a Pound. So maybe every three months or so, me and mum will go in together because then we can, you know, the postage isn't so bad because the postage can be, quite, I think, is quite high for them. Um, so I try to wait, you know, quite some time and then have a little bit of a splurge because it's very, very cheap. Although saying that, well, when I first started shopping with Every Crafts a Pound, Every Craft was a pound. Now they still have lots of stuff that's a pound and lots of stuff that's even, you know, like 25p. But they have a lot more stuff that's over a pound. So, um, you know, if you first have gone on there and you think, well, it's not really a pound, do have a look because they do have, you know, you've got to kind of search for some things. But um, yeah, so I picked up these and I've got another little bit there to show you as well. So I got some of the fine applicator bottles here and I've already filled this up so I wanted to see if it's going to work with the Kalal glue and it does. It works absolutely perfectly so I was really really chuffed so I've just filled this one up here. Also I think this was £2, two, might be £2.99 for the three but just for these nibs alone is I think worth it especially to have the stainless steel pins because they can be quite you know com some companies are selling these for quite a lot of money for what they are but you can see now you've got even thinner distribution of that Kalau which is brilliant so yeah I'd like it if the bottles were a bit bigger but that's just me being picky because of what I, I, I'm a heavy user of it but they've got there you can see I don't know whether it looks like it's exactly the same size so it would be a good replacement for that but it might even go on the end of this one because this is a bigger bottle and I've got the Kalau in this so I'm wondering whether one of these ends here because I just find because I use it a lot I'm having to fill this one up a lot you'll probably hear me in my videos sometimes where I'm having to fill it up but I wonder whether because I know some of you this is an old tonic studios um kind of like white pva glue bottle and I just cleaned it out completely and oh, I've still got some color in there it felt quite light let's see if it works on this one as well let's just fold that one over because the thinner you can get the clow out the even quicker it dries because obviously you know if it's very thick it just does take a while but let's just oh yeah no it's working oh I'm so happy <laughs> I'm such a happy girl so now I can fill that right up and go back to using that one again because that one doesn't run down as quickly as these are so I'll just probably empty those two into there. But it's always, these are great for traveling as well. You know, if you are on the go and you go over your friends, you can just fill up one of these, you know, it's, yeah, perfect. So that one can now go in there. So I've got that one with that pin in. I've got a little one there with the pin in. And I've even got, still got a little bit left of the Dawn Bibby one. And I lost the pins for that. I was really annoyed with myself. But I'm also wondering whether I can pop a pin in here because this clogs up a lot, which annoys me because it's a lovely glue. I really do like it as well. And I've got the, the bigger one here. So um, I wonder again, let's have a little look. Just screw them and then pop the pin in. Yeah, it's going in. Let's have a little look again. And these aren't just from Every Craft of Powder, it's by Woodware. So you can probably get them. They might even have them on Craft Stash. Yeah, it works. Look at that. Oh, I am really happy. <laughs> Isn't it funny, these little things that just, but it just makes life so much easier. So now I have my favorite kind of, I guess, white glue. My favourite all-purpose clear blue is um, clear blue. Clear glue is in here, and then also the art glitter glue. But I find those two identical. So um, I guess for us in the UK, this is you know the one to go for because I think this one has to be shipped from America and it has to be shipped during certain times of the year because of the temperature and all that kind of stuff. So that's what I've heard anyway. But no, I'm really pleased with that. So yeah, if you were wondering whether these kind of you know tips would fit on other bottles, yes, they do especially that one that's good and then that was a tonic one and um, I'm sure there's lots of others as well that you would be able to you know play around with so that was those so I'm actually really pleased with that I don't need that lid anymore let's just pop all that over there because I need to rearrange and sort all my glues out now and then I just 
all these things are a mix of 50p, 25p and a pound. So I picked up the Make-A-Wish and I also got these because I brought the 12 by 12 a while back and I've got the cake wooden toppers and now I've got the Sunday wooden toppers and then all the puffy stickers. I love, you, you, I mean, I'm on the design team for Trim Craft and I've enjoyed their product for many, many years. So, I, but I missed getting this one when it was in the shops. So when I saw it, you know, start popping up on some of the discount stores and things like that, I brought it and now I'm, you know, using it and you've seen it feature. But I just love all these things. They just finish everything off and yeah, I've got those toppers. So again, these were very inexpensive, no more than a pound. These here, I always use little bows. They're just very handy to have and to kind of do this size yourself, even if you've got a bow maker, can just be quite fiddly. So when you've got Simply Creative, always do them. Dovecraft here as well. It's just a variety of colours. Pastels, which are going to go great with like the paper posies at the moment and then the brights. I love those colours, you know, the shocking pink there and the cobalt blue. So, and then these ones here as well. So I picked up those. These I just think are really, really cute. They're part of the Folkland collection. Again, I didn't... It wasn't one that I was really drawn to, I'm going to be completely honest. I, you know, I don't like everything out there, although it looks like I do get a lot of things. I, you know, there's a lot that I don't go for. I don't know what it was, there was something about it, but I did love these. I thought they were gorgeous, so I picked those up. And um, yeah, I'd find somewhere for them. I think they're going to be nice for some more feminine Christmas cards. You can, you know, certainly make her look Christmassy, but I just thought they were really sweet. Then I picked up these. I go through card bases so much. <laughs> so these are... The Berry Blush, back to basics, six by six. And in here, so you've got your envelopes, but you get, yeah, that, I guess that's the berry colour, actually. That's like a lavender purple, and then you've got that kind of peachy kind of colour. But they're nice. Again, for when I do my commission work, magazine work, things like that, it's these things that I go to a lot, so that's those. And then, some of you might laugh, but I had these for the Christmas Just Gone, and I used so many of them and they're just something that never dates you know they're going to be used year after year but I use them all and they were back on there for 50p each they may have even been 25p so I've just stocked up so this will go straight into my Christmas tub but it's great for when you're doing bulk kind of crafting and they're great for putting on gift tags and gift boxes and things like that but I got the gold and the silver happy Christmas and Merry Christmas and I just, yeah, really, really like those. So I picked them up. And then I also got these, which were the Advent ch uh, Christmas Chunky Stickers. So you've got the silver and the gold. I will be doing an Advent calendar. I know I've got my one that is for me forever, but I have been asked to make Advent calendars for other people this year. So these are going to come in very handy for those. And then I picked up some more of these. I do have a few left. I've got about half left on the other one and they're your Christmas chunky stickers and these are Christmas hats but they are great to add on to all kinds of things even a stamped image of a, a you know a little critter you could put a little Christmas hat on him so I just thought I'll get them so those will just go straight away into my Christmas kind of box now and uh, be forgotten about and I also picked up some of their MDF so they have a lot of MDF on there and these are the coasters and you got four for four for a pound four for 50p it was really good so I have obviously plenty now because again I do start kind of making Christmas gifts early because you make them so it does take a little bit longer these smell amazing I love the smell of cut wood really really like it. it's just like a a bonfire oh I just love it it's like I, I hate the smell of petrol but some people absolutely love that but it just makes me feel actually quite sick but this oh I just love it and as soon as I opened the box I was hit with this smell so I'm also doing my resin art I'm really getting into the resin art and I've been making some really nice gifts I'll be doing normal coasters with them but I'm also going to be doing some Christmas decorations with them and some resin art with them as well. So I've got a few ideas and I just thought for the price, you know, there's plenty there, you know, to give out as gifts for people. So that was those. And then I did get some paper pads. So printed blooms, I had the 12 by 12 of this and I used every single sheet on the mini album that I made for my mum for her 60th birthday. I never shared that one on the channel. I kept that one just for private, just for us and the family, but I used the printed blooms for it and it was beautiful. I thought for the price, I will get that one. Then I also got Beach Life. 
it's just a big big favorite of mine I brought another of I, I finished one of the 12 by 12s and I brought another 12 by 12 and I've already been using that a lot and it's actually been used on Easter this year so you're going to see quite a few Easter projects using not the buckets and spades and that but these the polka dots, the stripes, the other polka dots there, the bunting, the green kind of decking. They're really nice, bright, I think, happy Easter colours as well. So that's nearly gone. So I thought, actually, I'm going to grab this one. It's so nice. I do have some of the embellishments. I've got the little wooden beach huts. So it's something I can start using again in my summer crafting. It's just a really lovely collection. As is this one, Sweet Moments. I've already gone through the 12 by 12 and the 8 by 8 So I've, I've got this one again. And um, again, I love all these. There's a little bit of a Daisy May feel for me with some of her papers With in terms of the background ones. You've got your, your gingham print, you've got these stripes. Um, they're just really nice. And they've done an amazing topper pad for this collection. I did share it all when I got that one months and months back. But um, yeah, so I thought I'd grab that. And then I got this one. So this is Hey Baby. Again, I do get a lot of my friends and just people asking me to do you know some baby related projects so I've picked up this one here and it's absolutely gorgeous it's the decoupage pack which I love and I just think they're really really fun I just love the hey baby star there which is right at the back let me just open it up just so I can give you a better look there and the colors are really nice as well it's not you know completely unisex you know you can use this for the girl and the boy whereas sometimes you get a lot that are just for you know baby girl baby boy but look at that isn't that lovely with a hot air balloon you get three of each this one here really really nice quick cards with these you got balloons again you can actually use that for a birthday card the flowers that doesn't just scream baby to me you could use that for anything you got the rocking horse the bear the elephants really like that one but my favorite is that look at that isn't it gorgeous love the star the bunting hey baby I think that is a really, really nice, very modern and just that little bit different. So yeah, looking forward to using those. Then I grabbed these and um, again, I go through paper, I use it. I am not one of these, I don't hoard this stuff, I use it. So that's why when I can get it very cheap, then it's even better for me. Because the background pieces like this, it doesn't matter, you know, whether this was last year, you know, or five years ago, you're going to see pink backgrounds in loads of paper pads. So this was, I thought, just a really, really nice one. Again, I, I kind of missed this one. I must have been really involved with another collection at the time. But they're all double-sided. It's first edition, so you know you're getting really, really nice quality. And again, let me just take off oh, the stickers on the side. I know why they've got to do them, but I hate them. <laughs> I'm not going to go through every one, but just so you can see, you get you can see where your double-sided ones start. So halfway through the pad, you get your double-sided, but they're perfect background, absolutely perfect. Love them, bright colours, right up my street. I'll be pulling this one out a lot. And then you go into your textures. So There's all glitter on the stars, on the stripes, and then you got that print. That's like a shiny. And you got the pink there. That'd be good for a handbag. That looks like, almost looks a bit like snakeskin. That's cool, I like that one. Love that one. And then that one there. I think that's like spot UV. Love this one. The foiling. Look, oh my God. Love it. So that's the pick and mix. Really, really good. And then I got the Back to Basics. So it's the same collection as the six by six envelopes and the bows as well there you go so it all matches together but this is just again it's more for when i make envelopes as well these because the, this is paper so this is where are we yeah 150 gsm perfect for making envelopes where you do need to make those bigger custom envelopes these paper pads the dovecraft ones are brilliant for that you've got some really nice prints i'm not going to take this all out the packaging with a little bit of glare let me just there you go you can see what you get there it's just all those purple tones really so yeah got that one as well okay so that's everything so i just need to get that all stored away get these things kind of i need this at hand's reach and sort my glues out and bits and pieces like that i can link pretty much everything 
apart from the charity shop stuff, although saying that it is branded things. So if it is something that you're interested in, I'm sure I could find pin flare. So I'll link what I can. I need to sort my glues out and I will link to every cross a pound, but they sell out extremely quick. So what I would say for anybody that's never shopped and they are only available in the UK, I don't believe they've got international shipping, but just register because you get an email sent. So they are really good. So whenever I see an every cross a pound email sent to me, you know that they, they're usually, they've just had a, kind of a new delivery of stock or they have just updated their clearance section or something like that so it's worth checking it out and uh, yeah that's it for now I need to go dig out my Christmas box as well and put some stuff away in there so as always thank you for watching and I'll be back very soon with another tutorial bye